uh, right next to the library and out to that main parking lot where the officers are. I don't know if the officers got confused uh, by them coming down the stairs, uh, but you did see them all just take off to that area with their guns drawn. Uh, but we're getting we're getting mixed reports of exactly what uh, where this guy is. If he's still on campus or did he run out right after the shots were fired into a nearby field? I can tell you from our vantage point, all of the uh, surrounding areas, including the subdivisions along with the schools, there are numerous cops around here as well. Police officers just uh, patrolling the streets, just looking just to make sure that this guy, if he did run out, he's not going to get very far. All right. Well, we've got Demond Fernandez standing by, who's got a student eyewitness with him, so we want to go to him, but if you would hold your shot for us, Andy, and we'll continue to watch, and, and especially uh, if it indicates that they are racing after somebody, if you'll let us know. Damon? Well, Melanie, I have a lady named Sharon with me right now. She's one of the many students who were forced to evacuate. She told me a little bit about what happened. Now, you heard the gunshots, Sharon. Tell me about what you heard. Uh, yes, sir. It was approximately about uh, five gunshots. I was coming um, from going to a pre algebra class. It was right there by the Lone Star Cafe. And once everyone heard the shot, it was a mini panic of running. From what I heard, it was uh, two young men who had an argument that led to gunshots. Now, how did you guys get the uh, order to leave the campus? Was it something that came uh, uh, through an email? Or? Uh, no, it wasn't by email. It was just about uh, how the pol uh, force of police on campus, the reaction from it, and they was just telling everybody uh, to get safe as me. I was in the financial aid office to until they told me that I could be excused from class today. And you said you heard about five gunshots. Could yes. you tell exactly where they were coming from on campus? Uh, they was coming from around the corner, uh, like in the middle of the yard, like right by the library. And it was about five of them. I can't even get to imagine what's going through your mind right now. I'm scared. I'm, 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 I'm scared. I just don't know what to think. You know, I'm coming here to come to, you know, to school. And then, I mean, once you hear that, as you can see, all the traffic, it's a lot of people that's scared. Have they cornered off any areas inside uh, campus yes, right now? Yes, as you can see on the end down there, people are coming coming this way, but they, they're they not allowed to go back into school. Okay. Thank you so much, Sharon. Now, Demond, before she... Who says that she was on campus right here. Demond, before I, I she... I have her here, Melanie. Yeah, before she leaves. So she thinks this shooting actually took place outside of the library. Is that right? She was telling me it's outside the cafeteria. Was it outside the cafeteria or the library? It was outside the cafeteria, you know, with the cafe. Okay, the cafe is right here, and the library is right across. So it's in, in between the middle section right there. So it's kind of like in between the two buildings. Uh-huh, and, um, and the cafe was full of people. Everyone's full of people just going to get an enemy to their class. And I knew Miss Lady people back there in their neighborhoods because they got everyone blocked up. So you can see these parents right here waiting on the kids. Now, Damon gotcha. also... Yeah, Melanie, you can tell the panic out here. Demond, also, know. can you just tell me, where did she get the indication that there may have been two men arguing, that this might have been the result of some kind of argument? Okay. Now, Sharon, where did you get the information that there may have been two people arguing? Uh, from what from what the, um, um, how you call the school, uh, campus police officer, that's what it is. And we just broke away. It so, started off as an argument, and then after that, it was gunshots. And this is Probably. police telling the students this information? Yeah, the ones that are on, on campus. Well, they didn't tell Damon Fernandez I appears to be move, breaking you know, there's up two guys there. That, that are fighting, but after the fight, it was a gunshot. So I think somebody got shot, though. It sounds like word of mouth. All right, Damon. Uh, and, and you're breaking up just a little bit, so we're going to come back to you in a moment. And again, we want to go back to Sky HD because there continues to be a lot of activity there. You can see now another person, it looks like, being brought out. Uh, and I want to go up to Andy Bass and Sky. Andy, can you tell us what we're looking at here? It looks like that as a lady brought out in uh, just an office chair with wheels on it. Uh -huh. She might be injured or whatnot or just, uh, I'm not too sure what's going on, but they did bring her out in an office chair. Uh, still trying to gather as much information on this. It looks like they're just going to wheel it right to uh, maybe an ambulance and just stop right there. I'm going to pull out just a little bit to see. Looks like she's drinking something. You know, there's a couple of people actually out here on uh, being wheeled out right now. So it appears as though they've been able to get inside and at least indicate whether or not there are other people in these buildings. Absolutely, yeah. There was a whole bunch of them just came out of them right now. One was also in a in a wheelchair or, or a mobile device as well, not one of the office chairs. Uh, several students came out with officers uh, when we were on the backside of there. Um, saw more officers start running towards the library, towards the art center. Uh, what I can gather from looking at the building, 
uh, just in this little corridor where all the crime scene tape was. They had a door surrounded for a little bit and then backed off of it shortly after that. So I guess uh, they're still looking for it. I mean, we're getting uh, mixed reports. Uh, this man, according to the Fox unit up here, is a young man, 6'2", possibly wearing an Atlanta Falcons t-shirt and a red ball cap. Uh, that's the description that we got from someone running uh, through the campus at that time. So we're still trying to confirm that if that's the suspect that they're looking for at this All time. All right, but it does look as though some of the activity on campus has slowed down a little bit. So you don't see groups of students being let out as quickly. Is that right? Not, not like we, yeah, not like when we, when we first moved, uh, got here on scene. It looks like that most of the, I'm sure they're still searching for students to see if they're hiding in any of these areas. Okay. Um, it's not a very large campus, but it's big enough to go from building to building just to make sure that all the students got out. Every now and then we'll see one wandering. You know, I don't know if he just didn't know anything was going on or he was just hiding in another room, but we'll see just wandering, one wandering down the corridor towards the library all and right. then out into the main part. All right, Andy, we're going to get back to you if you'll continue to just keep us updated. Now